Sambal, Sambal, Sambal. Sambal, Sambal. Nancy, how long have you been here? Mawetho osema zulwini. Mawetho osema zulwini. Malingwali iswe ika malako. Malingwali iswe ika malako. Sipe na mtanje iso mbase. Sipe na mtanje. Tata, tata, kwa lezi wa fizu makulu. Indoni, kuputo mga nkuko kweni. Eh? Maskote ngoko. Dan Namni, engkau engkau. Semua sheli tak suka cerita. Hendak ambil standar tu le. Ikan malak yang gunam zam. Winnie Fred, mati gizel. Winnie Fred. Kamalini elu. Liteta umtu otanda ukolo. Panele nga mandomba za nanguku. Kufne kunyana. Kau lekang apa? Ya aku sen sen dongai iyo. Kau tanya aku, isa orang yang nama aku ini. Sekolah tuan fumel bantu bazar na luin tong. Ama ni ama suka wal bungang. Tata, tu fumel aku bantu. Aiyu, luin tong bazar ni tu iyo. Tu bazar nak apa ni ke yang sen dong? Kau tak ing pek yang sen bantu. Nega sekolah paman sekolah itu, kan? Kalau mas tu kau kanya abu lala umama. Nsen mung, nena bantu ana bantu. Mama kwa bula wa mkutani, futunga pendu tete na mgolo so. Unzima uko mwabi satati. Tikela umye kuno msamu. Uya samu kwa mwenyana kuhue. Columbus Matigizela, headmaster of Pisana Elementary School. Welcome. Next time, have your pickings chase the cattle off the road. We haven't got time to waste. As you can see, we do not have desks and chairs. Our only equipment is blackboard and chalk. We came to evaluate your teaching abilities. So far, you're not making a very favorable impression. Despite all our disadvantages, I can wager that any one of my pupils could compete with any white pupil in your cities. 
Winnie, Shakespeare's 18th sonnet for our guests. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May, and summer's least hath all too short a date. Sometime too hot the eye of heaven shines, and often is his gold complexion. Yeah, yeah, that's enough. Filled. Thank you. Good day. when you were not born a boy. But now, I am proud. I'm so very proud that you're my daughter. Don't forget to write. You should be the one taking the bus, Cece. It was always going to be you. Sorry, we're late. There was a frightful accident in Elof Street. We do apologize. We are so very pleased that you're coming to study with us. Yes, our first student from a rural area. And we believe your father is a chief. No, madam. My father is a teacher, son of a chief, but the first black teacher in our district. Daughter of a Kosa teacher, son of a chief is quite good enough. <laughs> well done to Johannesburg. Yes, do, can I help you with it? Now, ladies. A career as a social worker means two things for certain. Long hours and pitiful salaries. <laughs> Please turn to page 296 in the Encyclopedia of the Social Sciences. Quietly, please. We're going to town, come. I have seen the town. You study too much and you're going to put us all to shame. For goodness sake, it's Saturday. Oh my, it is beautiful. <laughs> I think she likes it. Let's go in and try it on. <laughs> oh, oh, you look like Cinderella. Go on, buy it. There are better things to do with money. Darling, buying beautiful clothes is the only thing to do with money. No, really, I can't. You can pay me back later. Excuse me, excuse me! What do you think you are doing? My friend would like to buy a dress. Is that a problem? We're going to ruin that dress. Ruin it? Only paying customers are allowed to try the dresses on. Look, you people don't bath. The next customer's not going to want to buy that dress. It'll smell. I'll take it off before I call the police. Leave her alone. Africans want to be paid a living wage. Africans want to perform work which we are capable of doing and not work 
which the government declares us to be capable of. We want to be alone and not obliged to living in rented housing, which we can never call our own. We want to be allowed to live where we obtain work and not being forced to living in our ghettos. African men want to be with their wives and not being forced into an unnatural existence. African women want to be with their husbands. He is incredible. Who is he? Nelson Mandela. Mandela who? Nelson, Nelson Mandela. I want to follow him anywhere. <laughs> Would you, Rini? Come on, get out of here. Come on. This is a peaceful meeting. Get out of my way. This is a peaceful meeting. This is an illegal demonstration. Disperse. We have every right to be here. Illegal gathering. Disperse. Arrest him. Wouldn't mind finding out more about that Mandela fellow. He's a dream boat. <laughs> He's a lawyer. A black lawyer. Ooh. He's defending a friend of mine. She was caught without a pass and she hardly earns anything. So he did it for free. A lawyer that works for free. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> My friend says he's also a boxer. A boxer? Wouldn't mind getting to go a couple of rounds with him. Always ready for a few rounds, aren't we, Harriet? <laughs> <laughs> ladies, 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 wow. Who's the new lamb? Or should I say angel? <laughs> this is Peter Magubane. He's a photographer for Drum Magazine. Now, please take a picture. I would rather you didn't. Oh, come on, Winnie. You never know. Everyone reads Drum, and a picture in it might make you famous. Okay, all right. Here we go. Yes. <laughs> What are you doing? Oliver, please ask her if she needs a lift. Please. Sorry. Hello, Sissy. Sorry. My friend wants to know if you need a lift. Is she sure? Is she sure? Are you sure? I am sure. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Let's go, let's go. Great. Comrades. All is well. Good, good, good. I can do it. No, 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 can see. <laughs> Hood, if you see anyone. I will, sir. We should be aggressive. We should be more militant. No. We're not a church team. See? You know? Ah, yes. I knew it. I told you I had seen her somewhere before. The girl from the Vasto. We should join forces with the Pan Africanist Congress. Let me see. They are very good at explosive. <clears throat> the Pan-African Congress want to drive this country's four million white people into the sea. And they want us to help them do it. We refuse to work with people who exclude whites, coloreds, or Indians. But we are not getting anywhere. The apartheid system is getting stronger by the day. Mm. And they've got guns and tanks. Listen, brothers, we must remember, ours is a struggle for justice, not domination. Yes. 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 
Search the place. Congratulations. It's a full scholarship. You'll have your master's in a year or two. And then, if you wish, I'm sure you could apply to live and work in the United States permanently. You don't seem too excited, Miss Madagazella. Of course I am, sir. Everyone dreams of going to America, but... But? I am needed here. Here? Yeah? Para. Para Gwaneth Hospital. They've offered me post of social worker. It is the first time the position has ever been offered to a black person. Yes, well, that's wonderful, of course. Do you understand what an honor, what a privilege this is, both for the school and for yourself? It's the opportunity of a lifetime. Hola, Sissi. Excuse me. Please, sir, wait your turn. This is for you. <laughs> wait. Wait. Oh, my God. We get at least 10 abandoned babies a week. You mustn't let them in. Not to let them in. Into your heart. Or you spend many nights crying yourself to sleep. I'm Adelaide. We oui. I know. Everyone's talking about you choosing Soweto over Boston. <laughs> Winnie, can we give you a lift home? Isn't it a bit out of your way? No, not at all. Oh, there's Oliver. Hello, Mama. Hello, Mama. Hello. This is my friend, Winnie. Winnie. Adelaide has told me a lot about you. <laughs> Look, I have an idea. Why don't we go to Dizzy's tonight? Oh, yes. Adelaide. Adelaide, you look lovely as always. Neville. You. Me. Wenny. Nomzamo. Matiki Zera. Daughter of a teacher. Son of a chief from the village of Fizana, in the district where my ancestors are buried. Nelson Mandela. You two know each other? He offered me a lift once. I'm sure he did. <laughs> Don't you use the bus anymore? What do you mean? Well, every time I go past that bus stop, looking for you, you are never there. I work strange hours. 24 hours. <laughs> Would it be rude for me to invite you to share a meal with me tomorrow? I will send my driver to fetch you. I'm working tomorrow. Well, then the next tomorrow. 
Dweki. Maybe tomorrow after that tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it isn't too late for us to still have lunch. Are you going to try some? Try the green. Okay. I will try it because it's your favorite place. Have you never eaten curry before? No. Your papers are right. You really are the most dangerous man in South Africa. I like you, Amy. You are not afraid. Of what? Of me? I am sure your father must miss you a lot. I was a big disappointment to my father. What would make you say that? He wanted a son, and I was the sixth daughter. But that would make him a very rich man. You get a lot of cows for six cans. <laughs> I tried to impress him. I became the best stick fighter in the district. There wasn't a boy who could beat me. You are a stick fighter. Uh, yes. So watch out. Indian daughter. I am very glad. What? That you were not born a boy. And that you chased him all away. Brothers and sisters, we were all created free by our Father. We have become the refuse of humanity. Therefore, I urge you to take your passbook, this document which labels you a third class citizen and restricts your freedom of movement and burn it upon the flames of justice. Viva AMC! Viva! Viva AMC! Viva! Amanda! Listen to this. Where the trial of the rebel black leaders Nelson Mandela and Oliver Tambo commences next week. What started as a campaign to protest laws requiring natives to carry passports has, according to the state, become a campaign of open defiance, possibly the start of a revolution. Both are lawyers now out on bail. The charge, treason. The sentence, possibly death. Major, would you say these statements establish a reasonable indication of seditious intent? I would say that is correct. If Mandela and his thugs had their way, they'd murder us in our beds. Objection, my lord. That's outrageous conjecture. It is the truth. 
Ask him. Mr. Prosecuting, ask kindly him. ask your client to exercise some restraint. He's right there. Ask Gentlemen, him. Gentlemen, in my chambers now, please. What is it, Jack? Yes, I'm true for you. What the bloody hell are you doing, Sir Son? You're drinking out of the same cup as them. What is it? No matter what happens, do not come out. Where are you going? Don't come out. What do you want? Open the bloody door, man. Where is your warrant? And what warrant would that be? Why are you here? Do not go in there! Ah, gentlemen. Oh, ho. <laughs> Don't you dare speak of my wife that way! Shut up, sit You up. have no... Sit you shut up, sit up! Shut up. You, shut up. you have no right! Search the place.
want? Hey, what's in there? Really? That's really? my really? wedding cake. Really? No, no, that is my wedding cake. Oh, really? Huh? That is my cake. Your wedding cake? In here? Bed. It's cool. You have no right to do this. Sorry, our hands are tied. Tied? You are supposed to be doctors. Masima. You can see our resources are limited, but we do the best we can. Here, sweetie. Are you scared? Scared of what? Of hiring me. Why? Because you're Mandela's wife? The police can be very persuasive. It would be a privilege to have you working here. At Sharpville, an industrial township near Johannesburg, thousands gathered outside a police station in protest against new laws requiring every African to carry a pass at all times. The crowd refused to disperse, and the police opened fire. All right, just let us know whatever we need. Most of these people have been shot in the back. My God, have the security police gone mad. Mr. Mandela, what is it that the Africans want? They want political independence on the basis of one man, one vote. What is the likelihood of violence? The reaction of the government to our stay at home, ordering a general mobilization, arming the white community, arresting 10,000 South Africans. There are many people who feel that it is useless for us to continue talking peace and non-violence against a government whose reply is only savage attacks. Lex, have the moral high ground at the moment. No. We have to move quickly, get to their leaders before they gather momentum. You know, my father warned me this day would come, but I didn't think it would be this soon. I love you. of South Africa will be liberated. 
The men are being trained for the possibility of an armed conflict. The people are demanding blood. Some of the world's leaders see thus Mandela through rose-tinted glasses. That is a grave error. Not only is he a very dangerous native, but a communist through and through. He must be stopped at all costs. Your daddy will be so proud. Where is the father? Away. Oh, Relax, Nelson. We'll bluff it through. Afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Mandela. Nice car. Now, would you mind stepping out of the vehicle, please? Listen to the radio. Uh, South Africa's most wanted man, Nelson Mandela, was arrested near Howick in Natal today. Wearing one of his many disguises, this time as the chauffeur, Mr. Mandela was taken into custody and charged with sabotage and treason. This is a final warning. You will not come into this courtroom wearing traditional regalia. It encourages dissent. My lord, may I remind you of the limited rights I have in this country. I still have the right to choose my own wardrobe. <laughs> Sit down. Mr. Mandela. My lord, I am the first accused. At the outset, I want to say that the suggestion made by the state in its opening that the struggle in South Africa is under the influence of foreigners or communists is wholly incorrect. I have done whatever I did, both as an individual and as a leader of my people because of my experience in South Africa and my own proudly felt African background and not because of what any outsider might have said. I hope that life might offer me the opportunity to serve my people and make my own humble contribution to their freedom struggle. I believe that South Africa 
belongs to all those who live within it, be they black or white. I have dedicated my life to this struggle of the African people. I have fought against white domination. And I have fought against black domination. I have cherished the idea of a democratic and free society in which all persons will live together in harmony and with equal opportunities. It is an ideal for which I hope to live for and to see realized. But my Lord, if it needs be, it is an ideal for which I am prepared to die. Queenie. Manzangwa. The death sentence. If it comes, we will not appeal it. We will not appeal it. Having weighed all of the evidence, this court finds all of the accused guilty of sabotage and conspiring to overthrow the state. The sentence, in the case of all of the accused, is life imprisonment. Court adjourned. Mrs. Mandela, what are your plans now that your husband's been sentenced to prison for life? I will not allow the selfless efforts of my husband and his friends to be abandoned. I will continue the struggle for a free and equal South Africa. Thank you, ma'am. Mrs. Mandela, there are procedures. First, you must make an application. I have done that. Then it goes to Pretoria, where it is reviewed. Then it goes to the Supreme Court, where a judge will take a decision. He is my husband. I have not seen him in almost a year. I do not know if this letter will reach you, or if you will ever read it whether they will allow you to read it. Life without you is hell. I know that loneliness is worse than fear. 
and could deal with the police kicking in the door and searching the house. But I can't deal with being away from you. Undress, please. Do you want to see him or not? You have 15 minutes. No political talk, no whispering, or I will terminate the visit immediately. Understood? Understood? Go sit down. Sorry. You're fast. I have been trying to get permission to see you for months. The British ambassador had to intervene. No political talk. I heard about the trouble you are having at home. No political talk. Is there anything we can discuss? talking about love, something you obviously know nothing about. So you think you're clever now, eh? The visit is over. It's over. I love you. I love you. Come on, let's go. Because they have put my husband on an island, that he will be forgotten. They are wrong. The harder they try to silence him, the louder I will become. Nelson Mandela's dream of a free society, it will be kept alive. To those who oppose us, we say, strike the woman and you strike the rock. Batita Bafasi, Batita Bafasi, Amandra! 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 Putting Nelson Mandela on Robben Island was the best thing we ever did. That bloody wife of his. Look at yesterday's London Times. Yeah. She's stirring up the foreign press. Gentlemen, uh, we must break out. Baro! You! You're coming with us! Come on! Get out! Get out. Don't you do any trouble, move! Take her away!
Compare thee to a summer's Shall I compare thee to a summer's Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? You know about the Durban conversations with Father Tombo. What conversations? Don't lie. Talked about. You recorded them. You tell me what I said. You are going to die here unless you cooperate. <laughs> oh, that way. Yeah. Where are you going? In this country, communists and their wives have no rights. I have rights. Where are my letters? You think you're so clever, huh? Just because you're married to that Kafu who thinks he's smarter than all of us, hmm? So I compare thee. To a summer's day. What? What's it, Cock Bronchina? I think it's poetry, my John. She says it all the time. <gasps> Shall oh. I oh. compare mm. thee to a summer's day? Did I say you could get off the brick? Stop that. Hey! And? <gasps> Nothing. Perhaps you're losing your touch, Major. So, so if we could just apply more physical ways of, of, of doing it, I think... Out of the question. No, out of the question. It 
comes from the top. We mustn't give her any recourse to accuse us of physically hurting her. Unfortunately. According to my source, she's still in solitary. She has been in there for eight months. Hey, Mandela, shut your mouth. What do they want from her? I wish there was a way I could send her some encouragement. She's been in solitary confinement longer than anyone's ever been before. We haven't even allowed her to wash for like five months. She, f she stinks. She won't let her suffering influence him. But still, she just... She won't give an inch. It sounds like you admire her, Major. We must never, never, never apologize! for treating a terrorist like a terrorist. So, you want to be released? Simple. Go on the radio. Tell your husband's army who can't always his way to lay down their arms. Tell the ANC's leaders, like your friend Oliver Temple, to start talking sense to the government. In fact, we'll fly you by helicopter 
to Robben Island to see your husband. Then you know it on. You stay at a nice little house, sea view. You cook for him and the prime minister while they talk about jointly ruling South Africa. Hmm? How does that sound? Fuck. Release her. Release her? Yeah. Find another way. Winnie, I am fine. Give me a moment. Yeah. They have made me stronger. What have you done to my wife? You should ask yourself that question, Mr. Mandela. It does not matter. We are wearing Nelson. They are conscripting white boys from school straight into the army. Those we are winning. Take it away. Listen, please. Listen, we listen. are winning, Nelson. Keep fighting. Yeah, oh, my lady. Nelson, we are Stop winning. Nelson. Keep fighting. Come. Come. Keep fighting. Come. Come. I love you.
does not allow for parents to bury their children. But the law of this country go against the law of nature. We are here to shed tears for our children. They are the heroes of the struggle. The silent screams of our children tell us the time for peaceful protest is over. Amandra! Amandra! Viva ANC! Viva! This bloody woman, she'll never give up. Now, what do you want? We are serving a banding order. I already have one. In terms of this new order, you'll be confined to the town of Brantford. Also, you may not meet with more than one person at any one time. Where is Brantford? Far away from Soweto. What do you think you're right? My dearest Nelson, the government is blaming me for the massacre of the school children. So I have been banned again. This time to Brentford, in the Free State. How ma? We have to stay here for how long? They have exiled me to break my spirit, but today I feel liberated. I think of the early years in Soweto, and I will again use my experience and my hope to help these people. Mrs. Mandela. You come to give me running water. I came to offer you a job, Mrs. Mandela. A job? Uh, I'm Chris Hutton, the local doctor, and I, I hear uh, how you're helping the local community. And I've been thinking if you work with me, then you can continue helping them and earn a living. Is this a trap? Trap? No. That's a genuine offer. Are you one of them? Thank heavens, no. When do I start? They said it was an accident, but I know they killed him, Nelson. Although I did not know this man, he touched me with his offer of help. I didn't know I could grieve so much for someone who was not one of my people. I suspect when you read this, most of the pages will be blackened out. I pray for you and miss you every day. Your loving wife, Winnie. Winnie. <laughs> you made it. Yes. How did you get a permit to get into the township? I know people. <laughs> I wouldn't call them friends, but, but anyway, I'm here. I'm glad you are. I see you haven't changed. It's been hard, Mary. Very hard. But it feels good helping people again. The community has never had a clinic. No. This building was a liquor store. Oh. How do you do it? Donations. Some from overseas. No. I mean, how does Winnie Mandela do it? Tea. Come. Yeah. I've seen one of the girls to get some milk from the police station. The police station? Yes. They plug my fridge there. They steal it, but the milk is fresh. What is going on back home? 
There's rioting in the townships, Winnie. Rioting and death. Some of the youth who call themselves comrades are calling for work stairways and boycotts of shops run by whites. They say they want to make the country ungovernable. But when people don't listen, they call them collaborators with the government and then kill them as an example to others. They hang car tires round their necks. And set them on fire. They call it necklacing. Of course, the security police just love this black-on-black -black violence. They say, yeah, it's tribal. Zulus against causes. And it proves to the world that they will never be capable of running this country. We will see. Hello? When? Okay, thank you, thank you. The rumors are true, ma. They've moved them to Pulse Mall. They've taken them off the island, ma. It is a small victory, isn't it? Your father is still in prison. Life sentence, remember. Good afternoon, Mrs. Modelo. We've been expecting you. It's often wondered what our lives would have been like if What do you want? This is to notify you that the Minister of Law and Order has relaxed your banning order. Is this a joke? No. You're free to return to Soweto, Mrs. Mandela. You must be careful, Vinny. Soweto is not as you and I remember it. Be careful. This is my home. Are you? What do you want? Get out of the way too. Do you know who I am? 
Of course. Mother of the nation. We need Mandela. Hey, Nina. Hey, you for that? Huh? Out, out, out! Thank you. From now on, anyone who wants to hurt Mama Win has to come through me. What is this? This is your football club. I don't play football. You do now, Mama. Can't you see this is Mrs. Winnie Mandela? I don't give a shit. I want to see the chairman. This is the UDF headquarters. You can't go in. I'm going in. Hey, what? See again, okay. See again. Okay, okay. What is your name? They call me Stompy. Stompy? Stompy is running from the police. What do you want us to do? I want to be in your football club. We have rules here. If you follow them, we are your family. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing with him, Huh? I'm a symbol like now. Come on, take me now. When I'm listening to people out there, when I'm an wimpy. Wimpy, me now. Take me now. Wimpy, wimpy. It's when's that, huh? Get the ANC anytime soon, my friend. <laughs> Because of the talks between your husband and the government, we are surrounded by enemies. Impimpi. Don't worry, Mom. I will find you another house. They're not. They're boys with no homes. I give them shelter. They are thugs. Thoughtless. The reports I am getting from Soweto is that they are out of control. Soweto is out of control. These boys, they protect me. I am asking you to get rid of them. 
Ó. Ó. Winnie. Is there something you are not telling me? What? The coach of your so-called football club. A band of bad data. But he... You have no idea what is happening outside these prison walls. It is a war. People are at war. You have not answered my question. You have no right to ask me that question. Comrades, we must get rid of police informer. We must unite in the struggle, together, hand in hand, with our boxes of matches and necklaces. We shall liberate this country. Amandra! Viva ANC! Viva! 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 enemies, powerful enemies, many of them in the ANC. Necklacing is barbaric. It was a serious misjudgment to condone it, an embarrassment to all of us. Embarrassment. My husband has been in prison for 20 years. 20. What has changed in this country since? Nothing. You know, I almost feel sorry for the ANC. Huh? With friends like Winnie, who needs enemies? <laughs> He's a police spy, Lomfana, man. Impimpi. Stumpi. Are you sure? We have evidence, ma. I don't believe it. He would never hurt me. Who also saw him at the Paris soccer game? Talking to some policeman. You saw him? Yes, ma'am. I don't know. Come on, 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 come on,
Let him go. Hey, 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 This boy is a criminal, hey, hey, man. We're taking him in for questioning. hey, 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 This boy is under the protection of God. Stay out of it. Sunwak. Somebody needs me. Somebody No! This boy has a century! He's innocent! I can do it. The body of Stompy Sepai, a 13-year-old boy who has been living at the deep roof home of Mrs. Winnie Mandela, has been found in a field in Suedu. Police have opened a murder docket, though it is not yet clear whether the boy's death is connected to his stay at the home of Mrs. Mandela. I don't know what has happened to you. He was a child. A child. He was a police spy, informer, in Pimpi. I would rather die here, an old man alone in prison, than to see my freedom bought at such a cost. A new turn today in the murder case of teenage activist Stompy Sapai, as prosecutors announce that Mrs. Winnie Mandela would in fact be charged with kidnapping and assault. This follows amended testimony from witnesses who until now have steadfastly denied that Mrs. Mandela had anything to do with the boy's death. Mrs. Mandela, the court accepts that you might not have been fully aware of the assaults described, even though most of them took place at your home. However, the testimony that we have heard has also revealed you to be a calm, composed, deliberate, and unblushing liar. Your complicity in maintaining the captivity of this boy, even after you became aware of the seriousness of the situation, has associated you with grievous crimes. The African National Congress, the United Democratic Front, and the Congress of South African Trade Unions have accepted a vote of no confidence in Mrs. Winnie Matikizela Mandela. Unfortunately, she is simply not accountable to the structures and principles of the mass democratic movement. Accordingly, Mrs. Mandela has been stripped of all membership in the Alliance. We denounce her and distance ourselves from her actions and media statements. We got rid of her at last. Or should I say she did it on her own, really? Too late, Brigadier, I'm afraid. Too late, sir? The only honorable, and indeed the realistic way forward, I believe, is to negotiate a peaceful transition of power to the ANC. A handover of power, sir? We've got this one chance to do the right thing and to avert a catastrophic civil war. We must support the notion of Nelson Mandela as the next president of South Africa.
making. I could have better. I pray to God that you are wrong, Brigadier. Minister of Justice will oversee the release of political prisoners, and the unbanning of political exiles. We will soon announce the release date of Mr. Nelson Mandela. It's 27 years. It has been a long time. But thanks to you, I was able to survive. I owe you a debt of gratitude that I may never be able to repay. Mr. Mandela, the world is ready to greet you, sir. Thank you, Warrant Officer Gregory. Shall we, my dear? She cannot be the first lady of this country. You know that. South Africa Angel in as Mama Nisanai. Comrade Numzamo and I have agreed that as a result of differences, it would be better for us to separate. I salute her for her immense contribution for the struggle against injustice. I do not part from her with recriminations, but embrace her with all the love and affection I have felt for her since the moment I first met her. I thank you. Tomorrow sees the long-awaited appearance of Mrs. Winnie Mandela, former chairperson of the ANC Women's League. Mrs. Mandela, once affectionately known as Mother of the Nation, has been vilified for her involvement in the abduction and murder of child activist Stompy Supe. She now not only fights to remain in the ANC, but also in the very hearts and minds of her people. The mass democratic movement has said, 
In recent years, Mrs. Mundella's actions have increasingly led to really stomping with a various section of the oppressed people Fuck. and with a mass democratic movement as a whole. Fuck you! The recent oh. conflict in the community has largely around the conduct of her so-called football club, which has been widely condemned as a In particular, we are now Good morning, Mrs. Mandela. Mrs. Mandela, as you are aware, this commission is dedicated to healing the wounds caused by apartheid. Uh, we would like to remind you that this is not a court of law. It is a forum where victims can tell of their sufferings and where perpetrators can seek amnesty from prosecution, provided they prove that their actions were politically motivated. Having said that, uh, this commission applauds you for coming forward. Mrs. Mandela, there is no doubt in my mind, nor should there be in anyone else's, that you have had a hard, heroic life. You have experienced enormous suffering, and you have made enormous sacrifices. But as we sit here, it would be hard for any of us, including you, I hope, not to acknowledge in good conscience that somewhere, Something went very wrong. Mrs. Mandela, you may speak. Mrs. Mandela? Mrs. Mandela? Mrs. Mandel. Smile for the camera. For it, if you saw a burning flame, would you walk right through for it? Would you die for it? Would that be too much? Tell me now, would you bleed for love? Would you bleed for love? Would you? Would you give it all? Would you beg and cry? Would you fall upon the light? Would you bleed for love? For love? But you do anything. Would 
Please. 